Yo, yo, yo. It's Gold Tooth. Welcome to Gold Tooth Gaming. So in front of me, as you can see, I've got my SNK Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. And I've had a few people ask me just out and about what I've mentioned this machine. Um, and I think a few people just need a little bit of clarity on what it can do and what it can't do, what it does well, what it doesn't do well. So I thought I'd just do a quick video and just a basic explanation on what I really think about the machine and why I'd buy it and why I wouldn't. So to start it off, as a unit itself, it is really, really well made. It's heavy, the shape's nice, the design's nice. That's a bonus. The stick, it comes with a standard and the buttons. Yeah, they're, they're kind of all right. They're not too good. They're not really terrible. But as you can see, look, I've swapped mine with a Simitsu joystick, Simitsu buttons. I've took the lettering off and I've rewired it so it is now A, B, C, D, top row. It just makes it easier. I think that's how I should have done it from the start. Um, I put an octagonal gate on the joystick. So yeah, it is really, really easy to mod. I've got videos where I show people how to do that. It is so easy, it's unbelievable. And it's definitely worth doing it down line if you have got one or you're thinking about buying one. And I'd say the reason being why it's worth changing the joystick and buttons is you can plug it to your PC with a wire that's underneath in a compartment, or you can buy the likes of this, Magic S Pro, which will make you use this Neo Geo arcade stick as a, an arcade stick for Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS3, PC it can do anyway, Neo Geo Mini, PS Classic, and these more as well. Obviously, that is updatable. You plug it into your PC and it has got updates. So, yeah, that's really good. I think because it comes as standard, you get 20 games, and then there's an extra 20 you can download directly from SNK. And yeah, they're all right, but they're a bit fighting heavy. So if you're buying it and you don't plan to high low mod it, yeah, I don't know if it'd be worth it, to be fair. As the high low mod hack, it's that easy to do. It unlocks virtually every Neo Geo title. It puts arcade games on, etc. Uh, as you can see, look, I've still got my USB stick in back for high low stick mod. But I will stop at the arcade section. If you want in this, to be an arcade emulator, I'd probably go a different route. Neo Geo titles, absolutely fine, perfect, cannot fault them. But for arcade games, if you want me to play old arcade games, fair enough, it, it's all right. If you want me to play sort of like newer titles, yeah, I've, I've tried some just for curiosity and yeah, a lot of them run really terrible. Sounds awful, frame rates are dropping, they're lagging. So yeah, if you want it for new arcade titles, stay away, but that's what you've got to expect because this wasn't made for new arcade games, was it? You know, it's just made for basically Neo Geo titles, which compared to technology these days, are basic games really, aren't they? You know? So yeah, I'd probably go down a different route if you're looking for arcade games and a lot of people, mm, they might um and out about Pandora boxes, but if you want the arcade games, for me, I think that's probably the easiest route. Um, you can always put emulators on your PC. You can buy a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, there's loads of different routes about it, but if you just want a newer arcade games, I, I wouldn't go for this. But for Neo Geo titles, old arcade titles, what an absolutely amazing machine this is. And like I say, it's not just a console itself, it is a basically standalone arcade stick. And for the money, I'd say it's worth that just for a standalone arcade stick, especially if you get one of Magic S Pros. And yeah, it's a nice, uh, sexy ass machine. And if anybody's got any more questions about this SNK Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, they need to know more about it, just put it in comments. Because I've been through this machine numerous, numerous times and I've tested certain bits on it and I've done this and I've had a look at certain areas of the joystick. And yeah, I am really, really happy with it. And I have got other ways of playing new arcade games. I've got original arcade boards and jammer boards and I've got Pandora Rests and Amber Nicks and 
mini arcade cabinets and stuff. So I'm, I wasn't bothered about it, but it couldn't run newer arcade stuff. Like, for example, if you try running Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which it says it's on there, I knew straight away it couldn't play 100%. I just knew. And lo and behold, you get Rick rolled. There's the good old Rick Ashley video, and he's being, he's singing at you. So yeah, the guys behind ILO stick, they just knew. They just knew. And everybody else knows it's obviously not a powerful console. It wasn't made for that. But yeah, everybody, stay safe, stay sexy. Peace.